hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of maddy i've been offline for some months now so but i'm back now so let's continue from our previous um, designs so today we'll be doing another beach party flyer so let's start by creating a new page the size is 2000 by 2000 pixel click ok so come to your folder i'll be dropping the uh, the files in the link the description below i'll be dropping the the, the psd file plus it plus the tutorial files too in the link below so let's drag this our image in first dragging our image in first click ok filter blow gaussian blow Gaussian blow let's leave it at 13 click ok so what we're going to do next is drag in our female image let's drag in this image you can reduce it to your preference like i usually see reduce this reduce it increase or reduce any one you want to do yes let's leave it like this okay feel this too big okay, let's leave it like this you can click ok what we want to do next is let us try to make this place a little bit um okay sorry let me just this a little bit So let us try to blend this edge. It, you see here that it's too sharp. Let us blend this edge. So layer max. Come to your gradient tool here. With the foreground color set at black. Drag a little bit. Drag a little bit. Yes. Drag a little bit. Yes. I think it's it's quite okay like this. So click OK now what we're going to do next is let us create a shadow like image by the back of the image a shadow by, by, at the back of the image so you come so you um, you convert this to smart object convert to smart object control j on your keyboard come here fx color overlay So the color value here will be will be black. Zero, will be black. Let's expand this a little bit. Yes, yeah, something like this. Now, come to your filter blur, Gaussian blur. You can increase it yeah keep increasing it then click ok you can reduce the opacity if you want oh, sorry i forgot to do something i want to bring life into the background so let's add this let's drag this image to the background sorry it's loading it's taking a while to load Uh, yes you can increase it increase it if you want so now let's drag this image back let's drag this image back okay, so and this image back yes now change the blend mode to exclusion 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 reduce the opacity to 22 22 fill to 63 63 now click ok you cannot click out so let's drag in our ripped 
image drag this in drag this in like this create image you click ok so as usual i had already done the text to save time so for the font i used Procarious regular size 505 so on my keyboard i pressed ctrl t y clicked on the text layer then i i clicked and i pressed them skew so skew help you tilt the angle something like this so that was how i got this particular angle let me control z back and i used good gradient overlay blend mode normal opacity 100 then for the gradient at let me click on this at zero location i used ff6 e02 then i think around 50 percent location i used ffff00 then at the extreme hand there i used ff6 d00 style reflected angle zero scale a hundred percent i did not add shadow so let us do another one let me put it put the shape here rectangle something like this click ok so The same way I did for the text, FX gradient overlay. Because I used it before, it will automatically bring it out. The same gradient I used for all. So you can take it up a little bit. Now you can use the same for your for your for your other shapes. You can actually use this particular rectangle and convert the size. Ctrl J on your keyboard and resize it. Ctrl T transform. Y click on shift. You drag this to the extreme end. I think it's still too big. Drag this. Drag this down. Click OK. Ctrl J on your keyboard. Make it aligned. You can resize this. You can resize this. Sorry. I'm just doing the rough sketch of the design. Make sure it's make sure it's aligned. So finally, we are going to add light to the image. So come to this area, new layer. On your keyboard press b for brush the foreground color set to yellow you tap once like this come to your move to blend mode to linear dodge add you can actually expand it if you want ctrl j on your keyboard drag this here ctrl j again move this to this side Ctrl T your keyboard, right click, flip horizontal, drag this. You can tilt if you want to, just to add life to the image. So that was how I did this design. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.